Hello, consumer. Thank you for joining us. Let me tell you the story of this phone while I provide you with quality entertainment. Once upon a time, there were minerals resting in the bowels of the earth. One of these minerals, called coltan, is found in most electronic devices. The majority of coltan's world supply is located in the Democratic Republic of the Congo, a country torn by a brutal civil war. The increasing demand of coltan produced a wave of violence and massacres in the Congo. Military groups enslaved prisoners of war, often children, to mine the precious material. Directly or not, we are all involved in this complex, illegal traffic. You didn't meet the goal. Don't pretend you are not complicit. Once upon a time, there were minerals resting in the bowels of the earth. One of these minerals, called coltan, is found in most electronic devices. The majority of coltan's world supply is located in the Democratic Republic of the Congo, a country torn by a brutal civil war. The increasing demand of coltan produced a wave of violence and massacres in the Congo. Military groups enslaved prisoners of war, often children, to mine the precious material. Directly or not, we are all involved in this complex, illegal traffic. Like most electronic gadgets, this phone was assembled in China, inside a factory as big as a city. The people working there are constantly subjected to abuse and discrimination. They work in inhumane conditions and are forced into illegal overtime. Over the span of a few months, more than 20 workers committed suicide out of extreme desperation. We addressed this issue by installing suicide prevention nets. You didn't meet the goal. Don't pretend you are not complicit. Like most electronic gadgets, this phone was assembled in China, inside a factory as big as a city. The people working there are constantly subjected to abuse and discrimination. They work in inhumane conditions and are forced into illegal overtime. Over the span of a few months, more than 20 workers committed suicide out of extreme desperation. We addressed this issue by installing suicide prevention nets. You didn't... Like most electronic gadgets, this phone was assembled in China, inside a factory as big as a city. The people working there are constantly subjected to abuse and discrimination. They work in inhumane conditions and are forced into illegal overtime. Over the span of a few months, more than 20 workers committed suicide out of extreme desperation. We addressed this issue by installing suicide prevention nets. Then, you purchased this phone. It was new and sexy. You've waited for it for months. No evidence of its troubling past was visible. Did you really need it? Of course you did. We invested a lot of money to instill this desire in you. You were looking for something that could signal your status, your dynamic lifestyle, your unique personality. Just like everyone else. Soon, we'll introduce a new model that will make this one look antiquated. And you will discard it. It will join tons of highly toxic electronic waste. They say they will recycle it, but it will probably be shipped abroad, to places like Ghana, Pakistan, or back to China. 
There, its materials will be salvaged using methods that are harmful to both human health and the environment. Parts of this bone will contaminate air and water. Others will reincarnate into new products. And the cycle continues. You didn't meet the goal. didn't meet the goal. Don't try to stop the progress. <laughs> 